Hello, geeks and gamers, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z in the last episode in what can only be described as a cavalcade of idiocracy. Uh, um, what am I trying to say? Vegeta uh, went ahead and allowed Cell to achieve his perfect form. Um, but going back before that, uh, we briefly fought uh, as Goku against Cell, rescued Tien and Piccolo, brought them back. Vegeta and Trunks came out of the hyperbolic time chamber, toting that they had way more power for power than they had before. Um, Goku and Gohan went in, um, and then Vegeta came over here to fight Cell. They realized, oh, Vegeta actually did gain quite a bit more power, enough that he could have defeated Cell, but Cell uh, went ahead and um, played against his pride and uh, convinced Vegeta to wait till he get his perfection. Krillin, meanwhile, had a remote that, once pushed, would shut down Adra Android 18 and allow him to destroy her. But rather than do that, he destroyed the remote because she's pretty. Um, so, you, like I said, a cavalcade of idiocracy led to the now cell is perfect and we as vegeta are going to fight him once more Big Bang! Attack! You're giving it everything you've got, are you? You do know what the word warm up means. So, I can't believe it! Damn I'm you! Let's try this next. Bastard! Ha! Fight me already! Well then, let's fight. Believe it! I mean. Cell is probably my favorite villain of the entire thing. You know, just... Just... Like the suaveness that he presents, you know? Oh my god. What are you doing? Ow, 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 ow. You know, Vegeta, you should probably start believing things, honestly. Ow, ow, ow. Big Bang, attack! Well, now, look at this. Hmm, that's so odd. It appears this gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> oh, whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. What if he dies? <laughs> he knocked the Super Saiyan out of him. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you've got. To allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Sure you gonna snap your ponytail? I'm gonna kill you, Cell! Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin! Take my father and get him out of here! Right, you got it! <laughs> Trunks' power! 
power level. It's taken a massive dive. Cell's power level is through the roof. <laughs> Did he overpower Trunks? Do, do we really not get to see him snap at his ponytail and fight as him? Vegeta, come on, Vegeta, wake up! <sighs> that I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. Uh, a tournament? Uh, a what? Let's make it mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock. That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. No, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change. In this tournament, I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time. And if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me. And then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell. What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament yeah, fun, will mostly. showcase my strength and true greatness. And plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us. I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan... I'm a little upset that we, uh, we didn't get his little, uh, ponytail snap. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Oh, shut the hell up, Jeets. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay, I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin! Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. Krillin. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. Cell, now more powerful, and one step closer to achieving his perfection after observing... Uh, oh, wait. That's the same thing I thought it would be changed. Meanwhile, Goku and Gohan continued their intense training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Ah! Get you with your haircut and your Super Saiyan. Through his rigorous training, Gohan was finally able to achieve the Super Saiyan transformation, but his grueling quests had to become stronger was far from over. Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. 
It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Dad, I'm sorry. I can't take you uh, seriously with your nipple poking out. Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. And don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Fight time. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you've got. Show me. Way to miss. I think you're finally starting to learn to control your power. I think so too. <laughs> no. You're well on your way to surpassing me. Passing you? Take this! What <laughs> are you doing, Gohan? You need to get angrier. Uh, I, I promise. Take the... I don't know. I think Gohan is also pretty fun to fight as now, too. Before we go beyond Super Saiyan. I mean, come on. <laughs> I just learned how to become one. So I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Yep. Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, okay. Don't know what's going out on uh, in my living room, but uh, sounds like my daughter is not being on her best behavior. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena 
in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long forgotten memory. Damn that cell. This is just a game to him? <laughs> no way. I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone. What the hell else was he gonna None do? None of us can beat him. He's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? They didn't need the additional three hours. What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. No oh, thanks, computer. It looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. My dad's an idiot. Your bald bestie is an idiot. The cell games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes. I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo? I'd like some new clothes, too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Clothes beam. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. Like, your dad is right there, Gohan. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Goodbye. It's a lot of experience. That's even more experience. Hello. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person. Got it? We're gonna have a great match. Goodbye. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. 
I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not going to be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well, look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Shut up, Vegeta. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. <laughs> what? Oh, Goku, clapping back. You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh. Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. <laughs> what? All uh, right. Yeah. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament. Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games Tournament. Only nine days remain until the dreaded Cell Games. Despite feeling that Cell may still be stronger than him, Goku decides to take things easy and relax in time and the time remaining. Is that the right move, though? Is it though? Yeah, nah. He's he's banking on his uh his son. I mean, it works out mostly. To be like a little mini intermission. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan we'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi Chi? Okay, so I think I'm going to. Oh wow, Gohan's now actually a higher level than Goku. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. It it is slightly early, but uh, you know I don't want to really get involved into too much more right now because so i have a feeling that we are about to be going into a lot of story um and into what will probably end up being unfortunately long episodes um so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here if you did enjoy today's episode as always do the things that we youtubers ask you to do and until next time, what is going on just over there stretching? Until next time, game on.